Hello there, Internet. My name is White Dragons, and welcome back to the Ferret Business. So within the Ferret Business, we have been, well, I have been busy off camera doing the, the quest that just really bum you out. And to the point where you just don't want to do it anymore. So, while it's nighttime, oh, by the way, I did add some uh, sword pedestals. So when we make some swords, we can put them in the pedestals, like this sword right here. We can... Just plunk right in there. See? Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Take that back. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, like, Tinker's, Tinker's uh, doesn't work too well on oh, on the pedestals. So, kind of looks like it's a dual sword system thing there, but, you know, it's all good. Alright, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go over the things that we've been doing. So, I have accomplished a lot. For example... We are now head assistant, and unfortunately we're still wood tier, but, dun 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 dun, last time we left we were, I think we were sitting at 94%, but I have been busy doing many, many quests, building your home for example, very super, super cool, alright, so for example, the armor's workshop, this was just completed by making an equipment cube, which was pretty simple. Uh, then after that, uh, a better forge. We got this from... Actually, it goes back up to here. Uh, the skin game. You had to, we had to make an equipment skin template. And then we had to make the, down, the equipment library. The equipment library we got from one of our blind bags. So that's kind of important to note. So uh, let's go ahead and just start claiming rewards here. I'm not gonna start. I'm not gonna choose the coins anymore because our contracts uh, will actually start helping us. Um, blah 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 blah. Uh, oh shoot! Where's that? Uh, production contracts. There we go. Is this it? Oh wait, this is a new interface. This is different. There's been an update. I didn't even know there was an update. Huh? Is it supply contracts. I can't remember which one it is. Anyways, yeah. There we go. Three. And it turns in three, but we need to get our reputation up in whoops, in our shop loyalty points because uh, we need to go. We need to have a higher tier so that we can get better, uh, better a better discount or a better price on stuff or a better uh, exchange rate, I should say. So, uh, with that being said, let's keep going. So uh, let's start accepting rewards. And we're going to go ahead and accept this one. And you, actually, you know what? Maybe better. We'll do bag, coin, bag, coin. Okay. So this one is bag. We collected this from a um, from a, a rewards bag. So we need coins. All right. And then uh, Battle of Stores was pretty easy. We got ourselves a uh, player sensor door or player sensor from a bag, I believe. And then uh, the uh, garage door is pretty simple to be made. Uh, first, you had to start with the garage door, then you made a factory door, and then you made the laboratory door, and then the last one was the super gel door. Now, just to show you that these things were made, uh, I went ahead and stored some, a lot of these. See, like, there's our armory that for something else, actually. Uh, as you can see, all the doors were made. A lot of this stuff was just pretty much made okay so I'm not I'm not jipping the system here I'm making sure that uh, you guys see that the stuff was made and uh, yeah there you go uh, so we're gonna claim we have basic blind bags or we have good blind bags I'm sticking with the blind bag basics because you get a good blind bag but there's a chance you could get a good blind bag out of the bla basic blind bags Alrighty. This one was also very simple. We just needed to make a wood label and then uh, attach it to uh, a sign. I know it was this one. You make a, yeah, you still make a wood label, make a sign, blah, blah, blah. So pretty simple. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, these are coins. Uh, the sword pedestal, of course, uh, we had to make the armor stand first, then the sword pedestal. I just used white wool. I didn't change the pedestal color. So there you go. chisel pretty simple uh, we just make a, a carpet block um, that was uh, 
you just take string, put wool around it, and then that was done. Rug, same thing. You combine two carpets to a floor carpet, also known as a rug. And then the torch, the wool and clay, is you just take stained clay walls, a bit of texture, tu uh, texture touch to them, and adding wool. And that was done. And then you had the far east, and then you had the paper boxes, which uh, this is what the paper boxes look like. This, 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 this is what the paper boxes look like. Pretty simple. And this is the paper wall, so it's pretty simple too. So uh, we're going to claim. We're supposed to claim. I don't know. I can't remember now. So we're just going to do that. Uh, this one uh, required a concrete, and you just smelt gravel. By smelting gravel, you can make concrete. So that was pretty easy. Then uh, white road road lines was pretty easy. Dye to make eye catching. Uh, just gotta get some white dye. You can get that from bone mill. And then surrounding a sign with stone lets you make a very noticeable warning sign. So that was pretty cool. So. Uh, oh, this one. The bottles, uh, Cloud in a Bottle. Uh, I believe we got that from the quest line where we were able to put, make bottles and just, you know, put them in something to smash. Ball of Moss. We, we did that one. And then this one was pretty easy. Uh, all we needed was, and I'm going to show you this one because this one's kind of weird. I didn't like this one. Uh, what is it, rock? Uh, here it is. You have to have stone shovel, stone pickaxe, and then a glass bottle, and you get smashing rock. Right click to throw. This will turn cobblestone into gravel, gravel into sand, and saturate on impact. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I tested it out. It was awesome uh, okay and then the truly your own uh, this is uh, uh, there are, are a lot of different styles of doors for you to choose from but sometimes none of them fit your decor just right click with the door factory you can mix blocks together and make custom color door frames and door itself you can also choose how it opens what sounds it makes and more perhaps thorough or through or perhaps through you also want to customize your blocks uh, with the block mixer you can blend two blocks together with both of these you can use the block a bucket of water I'm sorry uh, you can use a bucket of water or a bucket of lava to have the flowing texture of liquid you can also use an ender pearl to show swirling portals which is pretty cool uh, pretty easy to make and it, a lot of this stuff required a lot of iron so don't be surprised if it if it's really difficult. Block will have to emanate redstone, not uh, opiate blocks like glass will make the block see through. So the, I like this. It gave you it, it was the challenge was not building this stuff because we have it you know in the eye. The challenge was getting iron. I would run out of iron constantly, and that really pissed me off a lot. Uh, this one we cannot do because it requires diamond, and I don't have enough diamond. Uh, again, this is in the year 3000. It requires, uh, what is it? I think this requires diamond too, if I remember. No, force wheel controller. Yeah, I don't, I can't make this right now because I don't have the, the proper resources for it. So, that's what we were doing in, uh, building your world, building your home, sorry. Uh, protecting assets, I really haven't done anything in. Uh, but we also got conduit machines taken care of. This is the Ender IO stuff. So basically, you make sticks and stone, and you get your uh, basic gears. Compactor was redstone, gold, and iron, I think. And then this was the machine chassis was iron and something, something, I can't remember. And then conduit binder, I believe, is from sand. Uh, sand into silicone, silicone, um, which we call it, um, smelted. There we go. So we have a choice. We can get five coins. We can get two basic compactors, or we can get machine chassis. To be honest with you, the the most resource heavy thing was the basic compactor, com compact compact rate I can't even say it was a little difficult for me to make so um because like let's see if we can go back uh capacitor stores energy despite its constant rate 
will use some very conductive, conductive metal, mainly gold nuggets, to create the two plates that store electricity charge between them. We'll use copper to create some small wire leads and coat both ends of, in redstone so that the conductor stores redstone flux or RF energy for us. Why? Because a lot of RF engines don't have a steady output of our machines need to be able um, steady put, have a steady output and our machines need to be able to store a bit of RF like a battery in case the RF generators stop for any reason. So this requires gold, copper, and redstone. And the machine chassis were not that difficult to make. Uh, just this provides solid base, uh, a frame made from solid, made of solid iron rods with thin, thinner mesh of iron bars. Such should work well. So basically, iron and iron bars, which doesn't seem like that's hard to make, but again, that requires a lot of iron. Uh, so resource-wise, this is the probably the most heaviest one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. I'm not reading these right now. Uh, when we start working together on camera I'll start reading them but a lot of this stuff was just you have to make and you have to make and you have to make and you have to make six of this and three of that and it was just really time-consuming uh, so this is basically a, a rewarding us for getting to this point and uh, it's basically saying be prepared because you're gonna have a lot of stuff and they're gonna give us a good blind bag which is cool we also get our job title gets gets increased as well uh, and again, our job title gets increased here. This is important because this is, this is important because I think the job title unlocks more quests for us. Uh, most of the machines I will teach you how to make will require power to run. So basically, creating a, ger a Sterling generator. And I got lucky there were some Endermen around, so I was able to kill it some Endermen. Um, and uh, yeah, I was able to collect that. It was pretty easy. Uh, did we go for. Uh, hmm. I would say, mm, slurred my words there, I would say, first of all, how's our bag looking right now? Oops, how's our bag looking? Are we, we're still good, we still got a good, see, I can see, I see, I still have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Glass transparency, really not hard to make, but just a pain in the ass, you know? Um, mm, for now, I'm just gonna go do coins. Uh, the long grind. This one was a long grind. Uh, grinding ball into increased efficiency. Flint is a good for starting material. To use for grinding. Hershey to make a sag mill, which we got a sag mill for completing a for completing a quest. So that automatically hundred percent us. And then pulverized coal. I just had to power up the sag mill to pulverize coal, which wasn't very difficult. And then we've got the silicone, which I talked about earlier, which was you put sand in the silicone. Oh, sand. I'm sorry. Grinding sand in the sag mill will sift it into usable form, which will be silicone. So that was pretty good. Uh, don't think that, that was, yeah, that was the last one. And I can't make this one because I need uh, dark steel, which I can't make right now. And again, I need this one because I need dark steel. So I'm kind of stuck on that one. Uh, let's keep going down, down, down. Machine life. So machine life basically opened up. This is the compact machines, so cool. However, this is a resource eater. I I just use so much. But long story short, once I'm able to get the resources for this thing, I can actually stick say like a like a like a, a farm, an automatic farm, into one of these things, and it will run continuously because it, it load it already has a load uh, chunk loads inside the machine which is pretty awesome so uh we get basic blind bags or we get silver coins and we choose silver coins and uh this one another resource heavy material item so just be aware of that again i cannot make this one because i do not have the uh the the, the, the stuff needed to do it basically so it's kind of gonna have to sit there and wait okay wait a minute did i get automation did I do automation station? Yeah, okay, automation station. So, uh, basically, rubber, raw rubber from the rubber trees, then rubber bars by smelting, then uh, take that, you cook it into raw plastic, then you pay two, four raw plastics, you turn them into plastic sheets. Again, all this is found on the NEI 
Right, so just, you know, don't don't go, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to get this. You will be able to get it. You just have to type it in the NEI. And like I said, this has got a lot of iron behind it, so just be ready for a lot of iron. Again, the plastic sheeting is needed for this. And then plastic sheetings again with stick, and then boom, you're done. Uh, so that was, that was not the most complicated one. I can't do any of, the, well, I can do this one up until I get to this point where I need glowstone and I haven't gone into the nether yet. Uh, this one I believe for design with decorations um, I don't know why I can't do this one. I cannot remember why but I know I can't do it so there you go. Cables I can't be able I haven't been able to do. The liquid factory again is another item that's heavy resource item. Uh, progressive energy, I needed to just complete this one in order to move forward. I made two wrenches by accident. Uh, this one was pretty s down to earth. Uh, RF engine, and it took me a long time to figure out how the hell I'm supposed to charge this thing. And they explain this to you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and accept coins for now. Uh, they explain this to you in energy automation. No, it's not. Is it energy automation? Yeah energy animation so you get you you first you need to make the wooden generator let me back up let me, let me actually let me go ahead and accept ooh makes it great um I can't make this I can't do this one let me show you generator so uh to make the wooden generator you need the RF en en engine you need a furnace and then you need uh, logs then from there to make the stone one you need to have the wooden generator another RF engine and I made like a, a like a like six or seven of them because I didn't know I was gonna need them what is that oh solar generator okay cool so I've got a bunch of these they, they're not hard to make trust me they're not hard to make but you to, in order to update to another engine you have to have the old engine so your wood engine you put it in blah blah, blah. and then iron again you have to have RF engine, but this time requires a full block of iron with iron on the side. This is again, this is where a lot of my iron went to, so that kind of sucked. But uh, we're stuck at right now. We're stuck in. Uh, well, no, I, did I make the iron one? I thought I made the iron one. Maybe I just made the stone one. I don't know. It was late at night, so maybe I just I didn't. I had to have not made the stone because it automatically updates. Anyways, oh, this is where I ran out of iron. Okay, now I remember. This is where I ran, I ran out of iron. I was like, shit. Anyways, um, the diamond one is ridiculous. Look what, look how much the diamond one costs. That's that's basically a, almost a chest piece for, of diamond, but the machine power is super good uh, from what I've read. So, you know, can't do that one. Uh, I can't do this one again because I don't have the resources. Uh, we did do a mining machine. Uh, I did make the uh, the wood one. Again, you have to update using the wood and furnace and the stone. And then this is where I used the rest of the iron. was on the iron uh, miner. And uh, it does a hell of a job. As long as you keep power to it, which is what I've been using for the sterling generators. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's been working out hellish well. Um, I don't remember which one we did, but we do get two. We do get basic and a blind. I'm gonna go for the coins. Oh, I can't do this one. That's right. I think I, I keep thinking I can do them. Uh, building your home. We already did that one. Uh, machine life. Is that the one that we were in? Yeah, that was the one we were in. Uh. And I think that's it. I think that was a, the majority of the stuff that we did. Air power is locked because I haven't been able to get the stupid seeds yet. Uh, so, but yeah, just just a real quick view so you guys can see. Uh, most of this stuff required it filled up almost two chests, literally. Uh, be careful of this book, by the way. I think page eight it makes you crash, but you can see the variety of stuff that had to be made. Just to get some of this stuff. Oh, there's some more iron. Good. I need to keep that. I made a couple of sticky pistons because there's like an. It's like requires like two, three, four. You know, it's cr just crazy. 
crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy good. So we're going to put all that back so I don't lose it. See, I even made some iron upgrades. And I've got 14 of them. And I, I didn't realize until after I got done making them and started putting them in. Um, in order to make these, you have to have the downgraded version first. So you have to have the wood, the stone, and then you move up to the iron. Well, stupid me was just like, you know, I, I had f like 14 wood upgrades. So I just put them in, put stone around. I was like, eh, great. You know, when I get to iron, it'd be no big deal. I'll just kind of like click one, two, three, four, and then just, you know, keep the iron in there because what I was doing was just keeping this, the box of box shape of iron and then just moving. What the hell is this? Ooh, what is this? This is interesting. Huh, okay. Uh, but stupid me, shift right clicked and I got 14. So I got, I can make a big area, but it uses a lot of energy. So I have to be very careful with that. And let me go to sleep. Uh, so along with all of this, I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do for armor because uh, armor is is a kind of a kind of my my big obstacle right now. And uh, we looked over all this armor and said, well, you know, iron's probably the best thing. Oh, by the way, here's the sterling generator, the sag mill, the sag mill we got from a from a uh, what call it from a, a turning quest. And then here's how I here's how I powered the uh, sag mill which it's I love the culinary one because it's just like so cheap but you gotta make the you gotta make the, the first one for the survival generator not hard you know it's a little resource heavy with redstone but after you make that you can move to the culinary generator uh oh there we go culinary generator and this thing actually uses uh the juices or foods that you have so I've got carrots and they produce 33 versus uh, like melon juice that does 19 RF so that's how it's power and that and then the alloy smelter it's just kind of attached to it and it's with the sterling generator so anytime I need to use it I got power right there just waiting on me I did go ahead and add a couple more of the uh, weapons uh, or tool racks because uh, there's gonna be a bunch of tools that's gonna come later on and this thing, I I don't know how to use it yet. I made it, I just don't know how to use it. So that's that's gonna be a difficult part. Uh, catching monsters, which is good. But uh, I think we talked about in the last episode that we moved everything. So I haven't had the chance to do this because I was just so heavily like working the book or working the turn-ins here and then going and mining then turning in the book going and mining so i really didn't get really hardly anything done outside but i want to tell you what the future plans are because ender io has a farming station and a tree station that can chop down wood for us and uh, that's going to be the next project i think i'm going to start working on i'm also going to move those berries somewhere else i may move them say you know like Maybe, you know, I don't know, somewhere around here or something. I don't know. Uh, but this will be like our tree farm area. And then uh, I also want to build a factory to start working on automation. Uh, because we've got a lot of, of uh, supply contracts that are going to require like this repeatable seed one. S super easy, but it requires six. And I just have to make sure... We have six crates that we can always turn in, and uh, it only requires six seeds, which is pretty easy. Uh, the other thing is, like, uh, the flowers, which would be pretty easy to make. Uh, just bone meal and uh, somehow maybe right-click, having something right-click. And there you go. Uh, just knocking that out of the ballpark. I still don't understand how this works because there's no stone here. There's only bronze. Starts with bronze. Uh, so I don't I don't know how this is gonna work because we get stone trader chits, which is stone. I don't know how stone works. Um, the one problem I have with this is I need to figure out a way to have an abundance amount, and uh, it requires like 
either two iron ingots, three coppers, or, you know, it requires, the two iron ingots isn't hard, but again, it's a lot of material being wasted, so, yeah, it's a lot of work. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's episode. I know we didn't do anything at all, uh, we just went over what's been going on, but I want to get these things out of the way. See, there, see, I made two of them. See, I made my little, my first little compact machine, but I can't get in it because I don't have the remote, so it sucks. So, yeah, I'm still work, trying to figure out what kind of armor I'm going to use, and uh, I'm going to try to find some obsidian, and uh, I think another building I may, may record is uh, building a library. So we can, you know, store books and uh, have enchanting tables. So, yeah, it should be interesting. So thanks so much for watching. Likes and comments are greatly appreciated. As always, we do this for fun, not for profit. This is one of those ones that's just kind of like off the wall recordings. But I just wanted to get out there and show you that I am still alive. I am still active. And most importantly, I am still sprouting the tail. Oh, yeah. So until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.